Well, really a uh, hard fought game and um, I've been really impressed with Butler. Um, I know those guys have been under, you know, a tremendous amount of adversity here early in the season, which is unfortunate. Um, the COVID virus has obviously hit them at a tough time and they've had to work through it. But uh, as I watched them play the other night against Villanova, very impressed with their team. I think their young guys are really doing a great job and they're physical. Um, and as they played today, I mean, to start the game, we weren't, we weren't ready for the physicality. And um, I thought that they brought it a lot more um, regularly inside. They were a much tougher team than us in the first half. And uh, we just had to really come to get together at halftime. Not a whole lot of X's and O's, but, you know, it's, 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 it's um, one of those things where you have to find a way to dig yourself out of it. And I thought we challenged ourselves. And I thought our guys really were disappointed in the way that we played. And I thought in the second half, we came out with a much better approach. Our attitude was much different. And it uh, started on the defensive end. We were able to continue to get stops throughout the course of the game. That helped us get some easy ones. But I thought in general, Race Thompson really answered the bell in the second half and gave us another presence inside and around the basket along with Race, uh, Trace. So that was important. And um, our guards did a good job. You know, I thought that the assist totals in the game to have 19 assists and um, you know, realistically, if you look at Al being four to one today and uh, Rob th three to zero and I believe Galloway was five to zero. Those guys did some really good things to help Armand get going. And he was the beneficiary of some of those. But uh, make no mistake, those were big shots that Armand made and his confidence levels are at, at a really good place um, as this non-conference finishes up. But we're proud of our, our group and what we've been able to do. And um, non-conference schedules over. This was an important game for us. Got a lot of respect for Butler, and as they get healthy, especially with Thompson being out, he's such an important piece to their puzzle. Um, they're going to be good in good shape uh, heading into the Big East. Alex? Arch, you mentioned the, the difference um, in the second half uh, defensively. What specifically uh, do you think changed, and, and what was – Kind of, what did you emphasize maybe at halftime that you guys weren't doing well enough that that you that you were noticed in the first half? I mean, they they kind of they they kind of maneuvered and, and manhandled us inside. I mean, they really did. It, that controlled the game. They were able to perimeter to post us from the perimeter. They were able to post one on one, and uh, really they just had a lot of success playing one on one in the post. And we took they took advantage of. Um, of our lack of help, and they took advantage of our lack of physicality. I thought, you know, that's was pretty much, you know, the, the main part of the, of the game. I mean, they were able to do what they wanted, move where they wanted. They rebounded the ball physically. We couldn't post the ball. We couldn't get it inside. And at the end of the day, you know, that's why the game felt funny for us. I thought we changed that in the second half. We were able to do a much better job of being tougher inside, and we also did a much better job of giving correct help when we needed to. But you know, the bottom line is they didn't shoot any uncontested layups in the second half. First half, they shot a lot of uncontested layups. We made a lot of hard plays. Guys were coming up with loose balls. And I thought very early in the first four minutes of the second half, we got our confidence going because we were able to get some stops. Kevin. Yeah, uh, now that the non-conference schedule is over, uh, Coach, how would you assess where you are right now heading into Big Ten play? Probably like a lot of teams. You're still really trying to um, – you know, get better. We're still trying to, um, you know, create more of an opportunity for our bench uh, to play. Um, I think as we head, in, we head in here, we know what is disaster if it doesn't happen in the games in terms of us being able to uh, compete in the Big Ten. And I think it's been very evident. We have to rebound the ball uh, by committee and we have to do a much better job of it. Uh, we're going to have to do a great job of not giving up easy baskets inside you know we have to do a better job of continuing to be creative there and i think on offense our turnovers you know we continue to have five or six plays right now in our last two or three games that are just way too many turnovers we can't play with 15 turnovers and win in our league and uh we got to do a better job of executing we got to do a better job of taking care of it but you know all in all we're as battle tested as probably any team in the league in terms of understanding you know what it's going to take for us to be successful. So I think we have that information, and we got to keep getting better. We got to keep getting more guys involved in the game. You know, it's, it's been tough because I think early on we're playing some really high-level, intense games against good teams, and you know we aren't able to just massage guys in and out. But I'm I'm here to tell you, I just don't know how we'll go through a Big Ten season without everybody on our team being able to contribute every game. Tom, 
Archie, this was back-to-back -back games for Armand, hitting five three-pointers. How much difference does it make to your overall offensive play when you've got a guy willing to not only take the shots but knock them down? Well, I mean, you know, it's uh, the ball going in the basket makes things easy. You know, sometimes good offense, you know, beats good defense. And I think Armand's given us um, an outside weapon here in the last few games that, you know, you know, clearly has opened some things up inside. You know, you got to worry about them. And I think we're going to be a better consistently shooting team as we continue to, to embrace sharing the ball. And I think you saw some guys really make some great passes in transition. And I think we had some great drives today where we were unselfish and had the ability to, a deliver a pass on time where we got rhythm shots. So that's very important for our team. And Armand, to me, is playing with great confidence, but he's earned that right. He's working hard at it. And um, like I've said before, you know, he's really developed into a player. I think he's one of the most improved players in our league this year. Zach, then we'll finish up with Mike. Yeah, I guess at different times of the season, you talked about the high expectations you guys have for one another. I think you talked about it after Florida State. Um, is that maybe also reflective? That, that halftime you talked about where your guys are able to just challenge themselves. So you said it's not a lot of X's and O's. It's a lot more just sort of being willing to meet the physical challenges. That may be reflective of the same sort of quality that the expectation these guys are holding themselves to. Yeah, no question about it. I mean, I think you have, you have a reference as you look at the Florida State game and our inability to be able to finish that game and be tough enough. And I think, you know, our team kind of knows, you know, we're, we're hanging our hat right now on being able to finish games, finish plays make more hard plays in the game, you know, be a scrappier, tougher team. And at halftime, when you're down by five or whatever it is, you look at the rebounding total, you're down, they're shooting at an unprecedented, you know, percentage in the game. You're just, you're, you're not competing hard enough. And we, we weren't. And I thought our guys were able to pick ourselves up off the ground and get going. And I, like I said before, it was really important that Race Thompson, you know, really gave us an unbelievable boost in the second half. And, uh, you know, I thought Trace you know, was ready to play. You know, we missed him a bunch in this game in the first half. And I thought in the second half, he commanded more attention. We were better inside in the second half, which helped us change this game. But I thought just in general, our group was disappointed at halftime. We knew how to answer the bell. There wasn't a whole lot of you know, hollering or whatnot. It's just, you know, it is what it is. We were getting, we were getting out work. And uh, I thought our guys did a much better job of responding. We cut the lead fast and then we were able to grab a lead. And I think momentum shifted our way. Final question, Mike. Yeah, Arch, do you feel a little bit better about this team with, with all the threes and, and the open looks that you've created these last two games? Yes. I mean, I think, it, it, you know, we've had a lot of these looks um, throughout the course of the season. But when the ball's not hitting a shooter's hands on time, on target, and rhythm, and then we know where we get them from, um, you're going to have inconsistent percentages. You're going to have, you know, jumbled offense. And I think here in the last few games, I'm not sure how many assists we had in the uh, North Alabama game, but most of our threes, if you watch us play, I mean, they're coming off of unselfish driving, passing, one more is extra passes inside out, out of, out, of the, out of the post. They're more, they know where they're supposed to be getting them and, they, and they're hitting them on time. And the more we can stop our team from taking tough, challenged two-point shots where we land on the ground, and the more we can spray the ball and move it and share it, the better our team's going to be. And you're going to see that we have guys that are going to be able to step up and make more shots. But... Uh, you know, I'm happy with our team. We got just got to keep getting better. We have a coachable group. Um, they're in it for the right reasons. We've worked hard. Um, you know, haven't had Joe all, all non-conference, and um, guys have stepped up. And we're going to need more guys to continue to step up and develop. I can count on all these guys as we keep going that we're going to need them because, um, as you guys know, we play in the in the fiercest league in, in college basketball this year, and um, it's going to start up very quickly. And the mental challenge that it's going to take to get through it um, with real, you know, no real time off is gonna be something that we're gonna to have to be ready for. All right, coach, thank you very much. Thank you, yep. All right, first question for Trace. Um, let's go Tom Brew. Hey, Trace. Uh, Coach talked a lot about uh, just being so much better in the second half and then getting better looks inside and such. I mean, 
seemed like more of that first half, though, was really just that last seven, eight minutes or so. But how good is it to feel like you guys all bounced back collectively like you did and it got came right out and got a nice run going? Um, really just being able to play inside out is a really big key for us, especially um, I think our guards have built a lot of confidence in shooting the ball in the last two games. So um, hopefully we can keep that up and just keep playing inside out. Um, if they double or do whatever they do, we can hit open shots. So. <laughs> Zach Osterman. I mean, Trace, it's the simplest question, but you talk about it there. Just how much did it change the calculus for you guys in the post? I know Coach talked about Ray Thompson and the way he played in the second half, but how much does it change life for you down low when you've got Armand hitting some threes, you've got Al hitting a couple, there's just maybe a, you're loosening up that defense a little bit more. Most definitely. It really opens up the game. Um, just even with race, just shooting those shots, having so they can't sag off of them really helps. Um, but at the same time, I thought race really came in, in the second half. He was amped up and ready to go. And Coach Miller told us at halftime that they weren't they were here to mess around. So, um, but we got back into it and then we started playing our ball. Jeff Rob Johns. Hey, Trace. Butler scores 37 points the first 20 minutes, only six points the first 10 minutes of the second half. What was the big key in that change? That changing so much for you guys? Um, really, just um, for us, it's really just getting in the passing lanes, getting deflections. Um, I thought in the first half we were kind of lads of days of calling the ball, um, and we let our their bigs do really whatever they wanted with no crowds. So they're taking six to seven dribbles to get position on us. But the second half we started getting engaged more, and um, we we're really locked in on the defensive end. And then. When you start getting stops and getting out in transition, it starts carrying over, and you uh, wear a team down. Wear teams down with that. So, Alex Bozic for Armand. Hey Armand, sorry I didn't, uh, didn't see you there. Um, just your shooting performance. We we asked you about this a little bit yesterday. You don't know. You, you said you kind of don't know what it is about. Uh, shooting in that building. Uh, now that you've done it again, do you have any more insight as to why you're comfortable in that building? And, and uh, just kind of what was working for you in the first half? Was, was it just a matter of seeing that first shot go down and then your confidence built from that point? Uh, I still don't know why this gym is having these good shooting performances, but, um, you know, it's just my teammates giving me open looks. And um, I saw the first one go down, you know, for any shooter. Gives you a lot of confidence when you see that first shot go down. And uh, my key, my teammates kept finding me. Uh, my bigs were setting good screens and getting me open, so I was just able to lock them down. Tyler Toffman. Um, this is a question for both of you. I know you've known each other for a while. So, um, Trace, what would you say your favorite thing about watching Armand develop has been? And then same thing to Armand about Trace. Um, I'll start. Um, Armand has always been a great player. Um, last year, he started the first 10 games, and he was really confident. And then kind of at the back end of the season, didn't play as much. Um, so I know he wanted to prove to himself this year what kind of player he is. I already knew he was capable of doing all these things. And all the work he's put in is starting to show out here. He's become a really, really good guard. He's one of our best defenders, and he's shooting the ball at a really high rate. So. And uh, about Trace, you know, I've known Trace for a long time, and it always was not like how he is now. <laughs> he can attest to that. So, I mean, just seeing him get better year after year, you know, being a dominant force in college basketball right now, I'm happy for him and I'm proud of him. But, you know, we both know we still got things to work on and get better and get more wins. Okay, last question, Mike Schumann. Yeah, Armand, Trace talked about the defensive improvement in the second half from the front court perspective. What did you see from the guard perspective? It looked like you guys closed out on shooters a lot more and stopped their three-point shooting. Uh, I think guard-wise, you know, we just got to limit their drives and, you know, have good gaps. And then uh, I think on my end, I kind of messed up a little bit guarding Bolton. Uh, he was supposed to be dead on catch, but, you know, I made enough plays, you know, got enough stops for us to get the win. All right, thank you. Shout out Joey Brush. Shout out JB.